Welcome to Victorian Gardens Cattery. And we're in the toddler room with Sweet Chocolate Jada. He's all by himself in here. Um, his playmates left um, about a week, a little up to maybe two weeks now ago. And his mommy is pregnant and isn't really interested in being with him so I, I play with him a lot. He runs up to me, wants to be held, starts purring. He's a sweetheart. He's um, Miracle's little son and Miracle is my sweet, sweet boy. Just a love bug and he has some of the same mannerisms as his father. Um, his playing is a lot like his daddy. He's a sweetheart. He's 12 weeks old today. He just got his vaccine. He just got his nails trimmed. He got his bath yesterday. He went to his vet check yesterday. And um, so he's, he's all ready to go. He is able to leave next week, next Saturday on his 13 week birthday. He's eating um, clean protein. He's a good boy. I've actually seen him all the way up on that PlayStation playing with that little mouse up there. Um, so he's now, you know, he's not, as you can tell, he's not intimidated by this at all, but I kind of taught him, <laughs> I hear his head bouncing off the, <laughs> off the ground. I kind of told him, I kind of showed him how to do it on his back and he likes to do that. He likes me to play with him. He keeps knocking his head on the ground. <laughs> He's got a super s smooth, round top head. He's actually just a gorgeous baby. His face is gorgeous. He's got really, you're hurting yourself by doing that, child. He's got tiny tails, short tail, short legs, really beautiful um, top head. So, and he is a chocolate point. And I wanted to show you this week. It's been so hard to tell. But oh, look at all that little cinnamon paw. Yep, he's a chocolate point. I knew when he was born he was had really white fur. And that's a sign right there. I mean, super white. And, um, and then it's like, I couldn't tell. I thought it was a blue point, then I thought it was a seal point. So what's going to happen is his points are going to go lighter, just like his paws did. They're going to go lighter and they're going to be, um, they're going to change color to chocolate. And that's exactly what happened to my, my Picasso, who is a, um, going to be our newest breeder. Uh, he's, I think, seven or eight years old eight months old now and um, <laughs> he's got a big coat this boy's gonna have a pretty big coat too he's gonna have miracles coat but I think he's enjoying he runs around here talking playing by himself so um, I'm happy about that yeah he's already gone on his first stroller walk we had really hot weather and really dry, dry weather. And now we're into um, like a whole week of rain. So we haven't been able to get out on the, in the stroller. It's either been too hot or it's too rainy. So, um, but he did go out one day and he did pretty good in the stroller. Um, he didn't start crying till near the end. So what he's playing with, if you're new to the channel, is this is the baby's first wand um, that we play with. And it's made by the same people who make the DeBird. Uh, Go, is it Go Club? Um, I can't remember, but I'll put the link down in the, um, in the description section underneath, uh, below the video. But this is called the Peacock Sparkler. And there usually is a peacock feather in the center, but that is the first to go. <laughs> I 
but these hold up you know through litters um, they hold up really well and they really like the noise they make and the color they're sparkling um, the first time playing with them with them the peacock sparkler they could be scared of it there and I can see them what you doing but um, they end up absolutely loving this. And we usually play pretty rough with them. You know, I mean, rough with the peacock sparkler really fast. Um, I have been not playing with him really too, too hard. So um, this line, Miracle's line, including Hydrangea, who's one of our breeders. Hydrangea and Miracle are sisters, so this is his father's Miracle. Um, they have a funny way of playing in that um, he's not doing it right now, but if there's several here, he'll go run up and attack whatever he's playing with and then go run and hide and then jump out and go run and attack it again and then go run and hide. And that's how they play. Um, and he's doing the same thing. You're not seeing it now. See, he, I taught him that, and he loves doing it now. Isn't that so funny? He's a sweetheart. He loves to be petted. He loves to be held and loved and purrs now all the time. I think he's done that now that his mom's not in here. He's bonding to me. Oh, he doesn't seem to mind to jump and hit his head. <laughs> Mouth is open. Something uh, you might not know that's interesting about a chocolate point is they end up having, a male ends up having a chocolate butt. <laughs> so, um, that, and that's and you'll see it as they mature. So um, when I first saw my first chocolate point boy um, at a breeder's house, I said, um, "He's got some poo poo on his butt." And she, <laughs> I didn't know any better, and she said, "No, that's his color. Chocolates have chocolate butts." So I thought that was kind of really unusual, but. Um, as babies, they don't, but as they mature, they do. Um, Picasso hasn't matured enough yet to have a chocolate butt, but it's getting there. <laughs> so hopefully I can get a video of Picasso. He's gorgeous, and he's so big. He's already, I think, um, at probably close to 9 or 10 pounds, and he's, I think, 8 months old. Um, and he's starting to mature now, but he's the sweetest little thing, um, big thing. <laughs> so maybe my next video will be Picasso. Um, you can see his videos as a baby from January and December this last year. So it wasn't that long ago. He was a kitten this size. So he stays up in my bedroom with my pregnant girls. They're in birthing cages, getting ready to birth babies. So he keeps them company. He's just a real sweetheart. So anyway, we're going to say goodbye for now. This is Chocolate Jade saying goodbye. And myself from Victorian Gardens Cattery and Larkspur's Nursery. Bye for now.